Can I talk to the pilot, please? He's right here. You're the pilot? Hi. How yeah. long have you been flying for? Uh, like, for Delta, 21 years, but maybe like 30 something. I want to know, um, because they say the pilots know a lot. Do you uh -huh. think the Earth is flat or not? <laughs> I know it's flat. You know it's flat? <laughs> How long have you been flying for, you said? Over 30 years. And when people, when you tell people that, do they think you're like crazy or no? Only one person. Only one person? Yeah, we're All recording right. here. Do you say, sir, it's flat? Yes. Yeah? Thank you very much. Do you know why sometimes you see the sun and the moon has a twin? That's because both the sun and the moon reflecting on the glass dome. This is the most plausible explanation, cause if they're not the reflection of the moon and the sun, what else could it be? No record from NASA ever captured another sun and moon beside our known sun and moon in the solar system. Okay, so some people are talking about this video. This guy pointed a green laser at the moon. And what's interesting is it appears like it actually made it to the moon. So some people are asking, how is this possible? After all, the moon is apparently over 238,000 miles away from the Earth. What do you think is going on here? I'm going to tell you the real truth about this alien invasion that we're going through right now. Okay, first of all, the Elite's playbook is getting so predictable by now. Oh, let's get them to look here and not there. While something major that can expose us is going on in the background, we'll distract them with something that's going on in the front line. While all these distractions are going on, the company that made the you-know-what is getting exposed for what's really going on with the you-know-what. You really think that aliens that can bend space and time can get shot down by our average technology? By the way, all these things are happening where no one lives, so no one can prove it, and their greatest weapon is for you to be in fear. When you are in a fearful state, you are the easiest to control. Fear resides at the lowest spectrum of vibration. People who vibrate at the highest spectrum, the love spectrum, the enlightenment spectrum, they aren't controlled. Everything that's been going on these past few years is all to keep you in fear. If you watch the media, you are being programmed. By the way, they can easily fake these things or fake a messiah or fake a UFO by Project Bluebeam. They have perfected holograms. Everything you see is a lie. Look within for the real answers. Peace and love. Believe it or not, you live on something that looks like this. Not something that looks like this. North. South. Going east. Going west. This is the truth. Not this. Happy Saturday. Well, folks, once again, flat earthers were correct. We told you that the maps are a lie. The view of the earth is a lie. There's more land masses out in the ocean. There's more land masses outside of Antarctica. 7,000 new islands discovered. Pilots that told us the world was flat and they said most people don't know. Not only that, the earth is also a clock. And the sun and the moon are used for time. Let me show you. And God said, let there be lights in the firmaments of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. Refers in essence to time. And let them be for lights in the firmaments of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights. The greater light to rule over the day. And the lesser light to rule over the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. Now this is a sundown. Okay. And it's literally shaped like flat earth clock. And it says sundowns are in use since ancient times and until the early 19th century were the main indicators of time at the beginning of the 20th century served only to show the exact time at noon to adjust until then in still insufficiently precise clocks sundowns are now used only as a decoration on the streets or buildings if placed in the right way show up five minutes accurately the sundial is one of the world's oldest scientific instruments designed to tell the time to the nearest hour the ancient contraption was first created by the babylonian and egyptian civilizations and works by measuring the sun's movement across the sky the mechanism's dial is known as a gnomon or style and contains numerals representing the hours of the day so when a shadow 
or a shard of light in some variations is present on a specific number, it is the current hour. Sundials vary by their latitude. Now, when describing the sundial, the sundial says that it goes by the sun's movement across the sky. But this says, yes, everything on earth orbits around the sun. So at every point on earth, you are orbiting around the sun and in every position the earth is in, it is still orbiting around the sun. It always orbits around the sun. It never stops and everything on earth is orbiting with it. And the question is, why does the earth move around the sun, but the sun does not move? Now I found both of those descriptions on Google. So you mean to tell me that in the description of the sundial, it says that the sun moves across the sky. But then on the same site, say that the sun don't move, but the earth is orbiting around it. Some ain't right about that. Some ain't right about that. Now I know God's word is true. Okay. And when God says that he made the earth flat and it's a firmament ab above us and the sun and the moon is within the firmament, I believe him. And looks like the ancients believe them too, as well as the Masonic. So far, 2023 seems to be kind of like a choose your own adventure kind of a year. Am I going to pick intense earthquakes all around the world in various places? What about train derailments all over the country with chemical fires causing acid rain to come down upon the whole town? Maybe we could do the evil overlord Bill Gates talking about the second pandemic starting in Australia. Ooh. Do I see lizard people still as an option? Don't forget about the option of UFOs and UFO lights just appearing in random places where the government is just saying, yeah, they're UFOs. Like it's no big deal. That one sounds kind of fun. I think personally I'm going to go with Chinese spy balloons. I think if we look into that a little bit deeper, by the time we get to the end of the game, we'll realize that satellites are just balloons floating around a flat Earth. Enjoy the Matrix! Doesn't make any sense, does it? Let me show you what the first chapter of the Bible has to say. And if you don't have an open mind, keep scrolling. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the Earth. And God said, let there be a vault between the waters to separate water from water. So God made the vault and separated the water under the vault, which is our ocean, from the water above it. If you were to go outside right now and look up, the sky is blue because there's water above the firmament. And we ain't done. If you search up firmament on Google, this is the first thing that pops up. Now remember what that picture looked like. God said, let there be light in the vault of the sky to separate the day from the night and let them serve as signs to mark sacred times, days and years and let them be light in the vault of the sky to give them light on earth. And it was so. God made two great lights, the greater light to govern the day, which is the sun, and the lesser light to govern the night, which is the moon. He also made stars. God set them in the vault of the sky to give light on earth. Here you got this picture again. You got the sun and the moon inside the firmament and the waters divided from the waters. Here are some other meanings of vault, arch roof, arch ceiling, dome, arch. Here's a meaning of firmament, firmament, sky, heaven, canopy. <coughs> Space is fake. That's absolutely true. We're not claiming to know more than you because we know that the earth is flat. We're not trying to rub it in your face, nor are we trying to tell you a lie and make you believe it so we can go, ha ha, it's in one big joke. No, NASA has lied to us from the beginning. We've been programmed to believe the earth is a ball, but we've been also programmed to ignore what we know with our own minds to be true in order to believe this lie. I want you to look around your room right now, every single item in your room. Every item in your room has a creator, someone who made it. You even have a creator. Your mom and your dad created you. And who created the first people to be on this planet? What, two rocks smashing together? Nothing created everything, created life as we know it. You really want to believe that NASA is telling us the truth, that we are floating in an endless space with no one else around us, no purpose, no creator. 
that's to make you feel lonely and isolated from God. When you realise we're on a flat earth and the Bible is telling you the truth, there is water above, water below, water to separate the heavens and the earth. We are in a closed system. And what I'll do is I'll answer some of people's most uh, common questions from my last video. My last video, which got a sensitive content warning for being disturbing. So some of you might be thinking, if asteroids are just a chemical reaction in the sky of the self-cleaning ferment, how do we have evidence of their impact? Well, it's another lie. They are not here as impact from meteors it was actually evidence of God causing the flood where he opened up the ferment allowing water to pour in from the heavens and also from the great deep just like a geyser God is good and the earth is flat have you heard the reports of UFOs flying over the US well, here's something to keep in mind. Our government, and especially our military, has technology that we have never seen. Take this plane, for example. The SR-71 is the fastest plane in its class, but it was secretly designed and built for the US military 60 years ago. In 1964, this plane was flying in Area 51. It was so far ahead of its time that it still looks state-of-the-art now in the next century. If Lockheed Skunk Works built a stealth plane that can fly faster than a bullet 60 years ago, imagine what's flying in Area 51 today. Hey, how the hell did they measure the speed of the Earth going around the sun? Well, they can't. You can't measure something without having a reference point. So you can't measure the speed of the Earth while you're on the Earth, it's impossible. And scientists know this, and the way they came up with the speed is they made up a distance from the Earth to the Sun. That's made up too. So based on the made up number, they had to make up a speed, well, do the math to figure out the speed of the Earth. So now, and also claim that now the entire um, universe is expanding, which is impossible to say. That's impossible. You can't, there's no reference point. If everything is moving, what are you moving from to from? We're all moving. We're all expanding. So it's made up. And what you have to realize is that the whole heliocentric model of the sun is in the middle and the earth is spinning around it and the earth is this far away and the earth is going this speed. It's not science, it's a belief system. And it's a belief system that was chosen for us. It was chosen and called science. It's not. You can't measure these things. So, it's like, it's like a religion. It's like a religion and, it was, and we chose to believe in this and there's a reason. It's not just like, oh, it, it's to make you feel insignificant. It's to make you feel powerless. It's not, they don't want you to know that we are on Earth, which is really special and really this, this important realm. Um, and they don't want you to feel that way because if we knew that we were set in motion by God and created and we had purpose, it would open up a lot of philosophical issues. So the heliocentric globe model is a belief system that was chosen for us because of philosophical reasons. It's easier philosophically to say, hey, we're insignificant in this whole way. It, it dead ends. It leads. It's easy to control you also, obviously, because you don't know the truth. Whenever you're deceived about anything, it's to disempower you. It's to weaken you. It's to manipulate you. It's to control you. That's why you're ever lied to. So just keep that in mind. The globe theory cannot be proven, and scientists know this. The numbers are made up based on a made up distance, and it's a belief system that was chosen for us and taught to us as fact, as truth. But it's just like any religion.